G'day everyone, Teenik back here again in Open TTD with the DBXL set. <clears throat> with the DBXL set. Clearly I need to work on my timing. There he is, hello. Uh, you'll remember at the end of the last part we set up a... Oh, hello, that's a phallic looking engine, no thank you. Uh, you'll recall we set up a nice new lumber log logging wood root uh, over here to Luchow or Luchow I, I can never remember how to pronounce the umlauts over the, the U uh, Luchow we've got a train that's just unloaded here and that was what I wanted to time the episode to start with and hopefully that brings with it a big payoff 134 grand well you've offset your running costs significantly considering you cost 11 grand to run yippee ki -yay other buckets uh, so off he goes and uh, yeah we need to set up a goods train from Luchow sawmill over to Wolfspot because well there's no point in unloading lumber over there if we're not getting anything out of it uh, so let's talk electric trains we've we could go the 195 again but obviously we're dealing with a shorter station here uh, and to avoid messing with our passenger trains too much we've got a lot of logs waiting already 282 tons of wood what was your capacity like 400 something it was 450. Okay, so we're, we're, we're well well in hand there. So what I'm thinking is we go the 144 because not only not only blah, 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 does it give us some variety, uh, you know, it, it's better suited to the shorter train. Now I was going to have the steak wagons because uh, if we if we build a steak wagon, let's just have a look at this. We can uh, we can actually specify that we want plywood loaded on there. So, you know, obviously it puts the larger stakes on, we'll actually get stacks of plywood there. But because we're unloading at a, a sort of a passenger station, I'm going to go ahead and remove that because, yeah, until we have a dedicated goods station, I sort of picture all the goods coming in here will be better suited to being in box cars, like the mail vans. Uh, you know, that way they're unloaded on a pallet with a trolley, take it down to the lift or the, the ramp or whatever it is, and, and take it down to the town. Now, this does accept goods. Yes, it does. Good. So we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with a good train of vans here. And we'll, we'll stick to five tiles long because obviously that's how long the station is. And we might need two of these depending on how, how quick uh, the wood shows up at the sawmill there. So if you could full load over there, unload over here at Wolfspot, and then uh, you just head in here for a bit of a service if you need to. Uh, I just realized I built that depot on the wrong side of the tracks because any trains going out this way will have to cut across to get in there and then cut back again. So that's not ideal in itself. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully he can now go over there and the next time we have a load of lumber uh, dropped off there, he will actually produce some goods that we can pick up here at the uh, sawmill siding there. And of course the production went down. Why wouldn't it? Yippee! We're off to a good start. Uh, excuse me. But yes, yeah, so hopefully that, uh, that'll turn into a nice little earner on its own. Uh, obviously the loco is limited to 90Ks an hour, but the, uh, the goods vans are only themselves limited to 80 so. He may hold up the, what do you call them, uh, passenger trains that we end up building over to Luchow, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes because yeah, electric trains are not known for their fast speeds. Except that one that does 160. And that one that does 120. And that literal very early model that does 90. That one does 60, but yeah, everything else. There's the V140. Max reliability is, okay, 76%. So it is a bit less unreliable than I said in the last part. Uh, we also have the VT-137 available, we've got the ETL, we've got a lot of things available. It's uh, it's a good time to be alive. So, uh, we set up a passenger station at Luchow last time and kind of forgot to set up any trains for it. Because I can't see many people actually coming out to Luchow until we sort of extend the line up here to, I don't know where it's going to terminate, probably Flins, Flinsburg? I don't know, we'll probably have it sweep around the coast here. Maybe even just have it swing up to Dransfield and then down that way and then have a different line. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But yeah, so what I'm thinking is uh, because we don't need to build a massive fleet of trains running out there, uh, we go ahead and look at the ET11. Top speed, 160 clicks now. It does cost 400 grand though, so yeah, hopefully we'll see a return on that. And, uh, and I believe the ET11, yeah, you'll notice this is a bit different to how we were building multiple units with the, uh, with the British trains. Because the ET11 is a three car train. Uh, however, it builds as a loco and has powered wagons. So what we do is if we try and put a, say, a goods wagon on there, it, no, no, you can't do that. So it wants to be passenger wagons. So if we go ahead and put a passenger coach, 
it's fine with that. We can run a two car unit or we can go ahead and expand it to a three car train. Cool. Can we go four cars? No. And you'll see it actually removes the passenger carriage graphics and replaces it with this fun little one saying stop because it's saying no, you can't have one of these. So if we wanted to make it a, uh, a six car train, I'm pretty sure we'd have to go ahead and put another, another, no, okay, I wouldn't, wouldn't like that either. Um, I think even if we put another, yeah. So that just shows us that they can't run as multiple units like we were doing with the British set. So we'll go ahead and have two separate trains there. And now of course they're both happy. Uh, the ET87 the is built in a similar way. I'm not sure if I actually get around to building any of these, but uh, that can be done in multiple units. So you see, if I put a passenger carriage on, it can't run as a two car train, so it wants more. So you put a third one on, it's happy. And you put a fourth one on, goes back to more. So if you go ahead and make it a six car train. So I really love how that works because it means you can chop and change the amount of carriages you have without having to buy separate engines and actually have them cost money to run. Uh, so you're the, you're the one from over here. Oh, here we go. Here comes the one from the other siding. Oh, good. We've got two lumber trains going. That, that goods train will be moving in no time. Uh, but yeah, so let's get this uh, ET11 going. Uh, so you belong to that depot there, let's say. Uh, oh, of course, the production at the other forest went down. Oh, why wouldn't it? Yeah, that's just how my life goes, apparently. How exciting for everyone. Uh, and 42, we would like you to mimic the orders of 41, please. And I picked the ET11 because even though we've got the chance of getting stuck behind one of these guys, if there's no freight trains, he's got a nice long straight section at straight section, straight section attractive to really get up to 130 k's an hour. So hopefully we'll see a bit of a return there and only being three cars, not that important because I don't think we'll have many people actually going over to Lu Chow, at least not initially, uh, at which point we might divert them somewhere else, you know, somewhere slightly better. Well, it didn't take long, but he's caught up to the, uh, the goods train already. And of course his mates now caught up to him. So in a perfect world, what will happen is one of these guys will get in between these two and force them to space out a bit. But for now, he's just going to be going signal to signal, uh, unless we extend this, um, this sort of slow train track that we've got for, for the queuing up of the trains coming into the sawmill, uh, which would let them overtake up the middle there. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, for now, I think it's going to be okay. We're, we're, we're still doing things on the cheap, even though we've got plenty of money in the bank, just because I thought, well, I don't want to get ahead of myself and spend all my money going, this is fine, we've got lots of money coming in. And then our coal mines all shut down as they are wont to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking after Luchow, we want to swing up to Acronym Town. And then maybe we want to extend the electric line up to Dransfield. And possibly down to Flensburg? I'm not sure because we also need to connect up to Lutzen. We might actually have a bit of a zigzag, sort of come through Acronym Town, Dransfeld, round the back of Lutzen, and then connect up with the main line at Flensburg, and then have a separate line from Flensburg down here through Malchow, Grobush into Wolfsbutt, and then God knows how we'll serve Torgelog, probably with a little branch line or something, I don't know. Uh, you're still losing money? No, you're a different one losing money, probably because we've taken all your passengers away. So I'd say you used to make a lot of money because people were going from Essens to Shortens to transfer to get up to Hamburg and uh, Wolfsbutt. But obviously now there's a more direct route, so all the people are traveling on that line. In fact, you're actually running at capacity, so go you. Uh, we probably may as well just double track. No, that's electrified, to caught myself, caught myself, that's fine. We may as well double track this section here now just to you know, head off the future because we're gonna need to do it eventually. We may as well do it now and get it over and done with. Uh, so go ahead and get rid of that there. Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, put some new signals in here, uh, some new signals in here, and run these ones down like this. And that lines up perfectly to switch out the ones we already have. Go us. Uh, and that is fine. We'll leave this here just in case we do want to reverse a train here at some point because they bunch up or something. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's uh, now that entire line double tracked. And uh, yeah, do we need more trains on there or are we satisfying demand? 169 via Witten, we, we could probably go ahead and build another train. In fact, didn't we get the BR05? Uh, no, that was just a trial. We haven't actually got that yet. That's fine. Uh, the BR05 streamlined really, really, really fast along the flat for a steam train. Not so good in the hills, so perfect for this line because we got long, straight sections of track, except for this ironically twisty bit near twist, Twisty Town. In fact, without Twisty Town, that would have lined up perfectly straight, so... 
aptly named town there. Good work, everyone. Uh, but yeah, so we need to go ahead and uh, and get on with extending this uh, this passenger line here from Lao Chat. Oh wow, that's already become very popular. What's the capacity of one of our little electric fellas? Oh, here comes the goods train. Dun 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 dun. Full load of goods. Uh, these guys have done absolutely nothing to space themselves out too, by the way. You are running completely empty. Good for you. What's your capacity, BT Dubs? 187. Okay, so they should be able to handle the load that we've got at the moment. Uh, but we will have to put more trains on as we extend the line up into the hills. Uh, so next stop is Acronym Town. And let's go back to Electrified Railway, please, because... Obviously, we need electric rails to run electric trains. Uh, so yeah, first stop will be here. Uh, then we'll go up to Dransfeld. So we'll probably put the station in here so we can swing up the hill and around like this and then back around through Lartzen, uh, which is kind of annoying because it would be a nice direct flat connection here. But this is why we electrified. Also for the freight trains. Uh, so let's see, let's pick a nice station building. That's kind of alpine -y. We'll probably put that up there. Let's go with this quintessentially German design here. Yep, that's the name of a station. We've, uh, we've definitely called it that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and keep it keep it really simple because we can. Uh, so we'll probably single track this section here for the most part, just because we won't have too many trains on and they, they should be pretty quick through the section. Uh, but yeah, you know, we, we will eventually double track it uh, as the towns start to grow. Don't know how much this one will grow given how constrained it is by the coast, but certainly this one's got lots of room out here and this one's got room on all sides. So uh, yeah, we, we will need to amp up our services up here eventually. Uh, go ahead and put that in like that. Uh, we'll put in just this signal here, just in case we need to uh, turn some trains around. Uh, now we need to come out the other side here. Yes, just single track again, because it's just gonna be far easier in the short term for building. And when we put too many trains on and it, it completely locks up, we'll go ahead and kick ourselves. And we'll say, well, past t -Nick go ahead and make such a stupid decision. Well, past t -Nick did what he felt he needed to do, so get off his back, jerks. Uh, now, we need a nice little uh, nice little station building up here. We've got this nice little alpine design. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that in there. And uh, let's go with a nice little bridge there, and uh, we'll get some benches to sit down. That's, that's nice. Uh, give, give people somewhere to sit. Uh, so go ahead and run this out here. Are we even going to be able to connect this up? This is going to be a challenge. Okay, why don't we back this off here? We've uh, we've already screwed up there. And start climbing already. We may as well double track this section because apparently I've decided that uh, it needs to be double tracked from the get-go. Is that going to line up? No, I didn't want to put that up there. That's not going to line up. Okay, so we'll just have to swing back in a bit here. And then we're going to have to start dropping down. And these towns are now going to absolutely hate us because I'm sure we've murdered a few thousand trees in the process. Yeah, it's 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 progress. We'll uh, we'll just make amends for it later when we need to service a coal mine in the area or something. We actually care what the town thinks of us. Probably. Uh, okay, so now we need to get back down the hill around the back of Lartzen. Uh, so we have plenty of room to swing into a station around Flensburg. Hmm, how do we want to do this at Flensburg? Because I'd like to build that station first because again, we're gonna need a lot of trees demolished. Uh, we can start off by demolishing this. Gives us a bit of room to move. What I wanna do is, let's have a look. Um, it's under platforms, I think. No, non-track tile, sorry. We've got this handy little dividing track here, which I, I very rarely use, but I, I like the idea of it, where it's just got a couple of fixed red signals. So the game doesn't actually know this is track. It, it thinks it's just, like a buffer stop uh, but what we can do is we can put uh, we'll put a nice little station building down no that's that's too big uh, on the other side so we'll put put one down say here and uh, and let's go ahead and uh, just put down maybe some benches or something actually no we need a way to get across to the other platform there we go put a, put a footbridge in so that way yeah people can uh, it looks like the trains can sort of run through but the game treats it as two separate tracks there so we can we can have platforms on either side but it just looks like a handy way because obviously you wouldn't have 50 million platforms here. You just have the two platforms and the trains would, one would come in here, people get off, walk down the platform, get on the other train and keep going. So, you know, that's just a, a nice way of doing things. So put, put the signals in instead of the buffer stops because yeah, maybe one day you'll have a freight train that would get permission to go through these, these little signals here. Uh, obviously we won't be able to do that because the game treats that as a non-track tile 
But uh, yeah, it's just, just a nice uh, nice visual thing we've got going. So I'll put a bit of roof down there, put a bench down, and then I guess we'll just put a pot plant down there as well. Uh, and then we'll go back to electrified track. So that, yeah, if we if we do want to run a freight train through, we'll just put a, put a track off to the side there to, to make it work. But uh, yeah, no, I, I just like the way that, that looks uh, as a visual spectacle, and, uh, and it is realistic as well. Uh, so go ahead and put a depot in here. I'm tempted to just double track to this station here and then we may as well double track there in which case we may as well go and double track that because otherwise we've got this weird orphan bit of single track because of course we do. Now, are you going to let me knock down this landscape here? Well, you'll let me do that. But are you going to let me build a station after the fact? I really hope so and you will. Thank God. Uh, let's pick a nice station building we haven't built yet. Let's go with that one. That looks good. Uh, now we just got to get downhill. So that should be easier done than said. Or said than done, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, that's quite simple there. Just just run it down there and then uh, sort of around a corner or do we want to diagonal it? We can't diagonal down the hill, but we might diagonal it down, drop down and go that way. Will that work? Will that, uh, will that do, do it for us? I'm going to put a hill right next to a, a corner piece, which I hate doing, but uh, I think... I'll get away with it this time. No, hang on. We just want to no, we do keep it keep it level. Keep no. Keep, there you go. There you go. That's how you do it. There you go. That's what we wanted. And then we'll just swing this into town this way. And of course, by placing it there, we've got catchment of the hospital, which is a good generator for passengers. Uh, which is why I wanted to put the station around the back here. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, built extra track that we don't need because I yep, I'm very excited with the old clicky finger. Uh, let's just run that down there, around a nice corner, and connect up like that. Good stuff. So, uh, yeah, put in a few signals, la-di-da. That's, that's how signals are placed in real life. If someone comes along and goes, la-di-da, and there's a signal there. Uh, yeah, good. So we'll, uh, yeah, we're clearly going to have to go back and double-track that other section there, aren't we? Because we've gone ahead and double-tracked the rest of it. Because, of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Uh, yeah, just throw down a few signals here. Yeah, why not? Coming into town here. And uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and, uh, and throw... Whoop, no, there's a hump there. Yeah, that hump needs to go. Bye-bye hump. Oh, now we've put a dimple in. Okay, we'll leave the dimple just because laziness. Uh, and we'll go ahead and connect up this with the double track. So the double track initially, complete overkill. Sorry, not sorry. Don't even care. Uh, go ahead and remove this. And, uh, and go ahead and put down some normal uh, sort of one-way signals there. Uh, those are not lined up correctly. Good work, me. Uh, yep, just, yep, yep, okay, cool. I'll just drop a few in on this section here. There we go. Uh, get rid of this points here. Get those points, rather. Get rid of that signal. And, ooh, that's a town name I recognise. And there's also a steel mill nearby. Oh, there's also the one we're already using, which we'll probably just go with. But that's one to remember. Whoa, hey, hey. Uh, now, we will need to uh, come back over here to Lu Chao and extend six passengers. Okay. Did you take all the passengers there, friend? Yeah, did. Okay. Well, good for you. I guess you do what you've got to do. Uh, yeah, so we'll extend you guys from Lu Chao up to Akronim Town, uh, through Dransfeld, down to Lazy Town, uh, and then terminate in Flensburg. Please have a bit of a service if you need it, and then rinse and repeat. Uh, your, your previous orders just in the opposite direction and then make sure we stop at Luchow again that station really was overkill don't know why I bothered to build that and while we're here we should probably check in on Gary the goods train uh, he, he had a really good payoff last time so good for him obviously deliveries of logs will be fairly infrequent here comes one now uh, so having a shorter train is probably an advantage because we're not going to get one crate of goods out of the sawmill for every uh, ton of wood we drop off. So yeah, probably good that we, we're not expecting a full full load. And look at that, when he stops at the center of the platform, he almost completely fits along the uh, line of sheds there. Uh, although we will change it to far end so that next time he comes through, in fact, we'll make it this time uh, because obviously we want him to line up with the shed so he can load his train properly. Let's see, how's that go? So that, that looks a lot better, there we go. I don't know how he runs around his train, that's, that's semantics. I'm sure there's a shunting engine we can't see that comes in and pulls the train out and he, he comes out and hooks onto the front or something. And didn't you just get stuck behind him again? Of course you did. Good for you. Now, to try and space these little buggers out, I'm going to actually reverse you at Luchow so you're not the first train that continues. 
and this bloke is. So that should hopefully space you guys out a little bit more. Ooh, coal production's down at It's a Ho. That's disappointing. Uh, okay, are you going to get a full load out of that train there? 81%. And that's where you've stopped. Okay, cool. So as I was saying, we're not getting a full load of goods out of one train. In fact, we're not even getting half because you were already at 20%, so you got... Carry the one... 60%. Okay, so you are getting half. You're getting a little bit more than half. Shut up, I don't do maths. Uh, now, how many are you bringing in? You're bringing one passenger in, so you're still operating at a loss because you're playing second fiddle to the front train. But now you're going to extend up this way and back, so that should space you out a little bit better. And plus, having more destinations up here should see more people uh, wanting to use the line from Wolfspot. No, I don't want to order it. I just want to look at where everyone's going. Uh, so most people want to go via Witten. Some want to go via Luchow. And obviously, the people going via Hamburg are already on this train. Yes, and you are making a very healthy amount of money. I'm very proud of you. So both the forests down here have, of course, cut production because they're jerks. Uh, this one over here is still going nice and strong, though. We might uh, might look at getting a second train in for that one. Where's the existing train? Is it in the depot? No. Is it... Uh, climbing up the hill. There it is. Okay, so you're... Wait, your speed drops down about 50 k's now. You, Even for a powerful electric engine, you're not handling the hill. Um, sir... Did you just break down? You did. Okay, well, that's okay then. I thought you'd gotten stuck, and I'm thinking, how do you get stuck with an empty train if he can pull the loaded train up the hill, like, you know, with ease? Trains, am I right? Ugh. Good. Okay, so what are we going to connect up next? I like the idea of going over to this new iron ore mine and hooking it into the existing steel mill, so we've got more steel to bring down to our little factory down here, uh, which probably means we should upgrade the old steel train, too, to a, a more modern engine because what are you running at the moment hello there you are hi oh you're still a br92 oh bless oh you poor old thing uh well yeah okay so you're doing all right for yourself but you could probably be doing better so no that's electric don't want electric this is not an electric part of the world uh oh good coal production at it's a hose gone back up again huzzah uh yeah so we want to connect up to the disson m22 burger world iron ore mine and that should be a fairly straight shot up the hill now that i think of it uh, do we want to row row this one? How many, how many trains are we going to be running up here? Probably just the one. It's not a not a super great performing mine. Super great performing? It's not it's not great. It's it's pretty pretty average. It's definitely not super. Uh, so let's go with uh, let's go five tile station. Just just plan for the future. And uh, and let's put a nice grassy buffer stop down. Keep it nice and rural because we're in the middle of bloody nowhere. And then we just have to drop the line down the existing. Uh, Oh, sorry, line down the new hill to the existing station. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so that's where we want to finish up over here. And of course, we never built a depot up in this part of the world because we've got our depot down here. So we'll have to go ahead and put one in for uh, our iron ore train in here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put down a bit of a signal there so that he doesn't get uh, held up at the mine. And so you're going to unload iron ore. And are you going to get a full load of steel out of that? You're not. Yeah, this uh, this iron ore mine is definitely going to be well used. Uh, so is this an opportunity? Opportunity? Blah, 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 I can't talk today. To use the V140? I think it is. Isolated line. You know, decent top speed. It's all downhill. So even if it does fail, it's uh, it's not really going to hold up the world. And plus, it's that funky blue color. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's not trust it with the gondola though. That's 28 tons of iron ore. Uh, let's go with the low side wagon. And go ahead and build... Let's build a four-tile train for now. See how he goes. Uh, so he can do 175 tonnes of iron ore. That's probably overkill. I don't think the mine is going to be producing that much. But see how you go, buddy. Go ahead and... Uh, and you, you can be the uh, the company's trial of the, the diesel electric... Or diesel hydraulic. I can't remember what it is. But the, the, the diesel-powered train over the steam train. So, you know, it's a, it's a funny-looking thing. But it should get the job done. Hello. I like your blue colour. I'll give you that. Yeah, aren't you pretty? Yes. So we'll see how that goes for us. Um, hopefully it'll make money. What are you waiting for? You're waiting for the bridge to clear. Fair enough. Oh, you're waiting for this little Larry the Local train. Okay, well, he's making good money. Hamburg. Yeah, we don't have a backup of passengers there. Uh, Hemmore. We have uh, plenty of passengers there, though. We're not doing too bad there. And Wolfspot's a hive of activity, too. We've got the goods train coming in. We've got one of the log trains coming through. Another one loading up here. How are you doing for money? Well, nearly 200 grand last year. You're doing all right for yourself, aren't you? But yeah, see the, the vans, I can see the passengers getting out of the way and a little trolley comes up and unloads all of the, uh, I, I want to say furniture? 
or building supplies or what would a sawmill be producing? Well, 150 grand a profit, that's what the sawmill's producing, bazow. Uh, good, so we've now extended our electric line up here to Flensburg. The other thing I want to do is extend our other passenger line up there via Gadebusch and Malchow up to a sort of more direct way to get to Flensburg. I know he pointed at Dransfeld. However, no, you still hate us. Okay, so we won't be serving Gadebusch anytime soon. We've got two options there. We could either bypass it completely, like the Gadebushy town it is, and just run a bus service from It's a Hose station up to the inevitable Malchow station and connect the passengers in that way. Or we can build the railway line through there, not build a station, and just build one later. Or we could uh, we could connect up Torgolo with Flensburg with a little branch line train instead. In fact, Torgolo is so small, we'd probably just get away with using buses. It's uh, yeah, it's quite a pokey little one-horse town. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start off with some buses up here. Uh, put a nice little nice little bus terminus in town, and uh, and uh, yeah, see how that goes for us because. Yeah, Torgolo probably isn't going to get its own railway line, even when it grows, because I will have lost interest and moved on to other parts of the map by then. Oh, ooh, good. Utterson accepts goods. You go, fella. Uh, that's actually where our headquarters is built. I forgot we started Utterson and not Hamburg. Uh, now, is that going to open a market up for goods from this factory? Uh, it definitely produces plenty of goods. How would we get it there? We'd need to either run it up here and into the station that way, which is doable, in fact, we could probably move the station over one tile and put a little goods platform in here. Or we could run it up the existing line and into the platform that way. Okay, either way, one to, uh, one to sit on, one to remember while we finish up our little bus route up here. Uh, so now what does Flensburg think of us? They think we're very poor, so they're going to hate us and not let us build a uh, bus stop in town. So we'll just go ahead and just sort of bribe them with a few trees. What do you think of us now, huh? Poor, that's what I thought you'd think, you thinker of thinking yeah okay let's just go ahead and redact no nope, you don't like that okay well we'll just have the road to nowhere continue to be a road to nowhere and shoehorn a bus bus stop in there and we'll drop a bus depot in on the outside of town where hopefully it won't get in the way uh now we just need a couple of buses what sort of buses do we have available we have the witch sharp principal uh 40 k's now yeah this is not going to make great money uh, or the TFB Mark 24, okay, no, which up principle it is, I'm not even going to entertain a 24 kilometer an hour bus. <laughs> Buses, am I right? Uh, so you belong to that depot there, and uh, you can have a service in either direction. I'm imagining we just tell the passengers, sorry, diverting via the workshops, and we bring them in, bus gets jacked up, some guy tinkers around underneath it, goes, nah, she's broken, mate. Lower the bus, everyone gets off the bus, goes over to a new bus, gets on the new bus, and then leaves the workshop. Pretty sure that's how buses work. Uh, so you're good, and we'll go ahead and get uh, get two of you to start and see how you go. I predict we're going to see a big bank up of people at Flensburg coming in from all the towns on the map that want to go to Torgolo, and then absolutely no one going from Torgolo back to Flensburg. But yeah, we'll just, we'll, as I said, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, but yeah, so we now need to connect up Flensburg, Flensburg, blah, blah, to Malchow to Wolfsbutt somehow. Ooh, new steel mill that I have no interest in. Uh, do we want to electrify this too? Because we are going over the hills here. Although, no, it's very flat over here. We've, we've sort of got one hill here, and we're not running any freight trains on this line. So I'd say we'll get away with steam for now. Famous last words. So, yeah, we'll just see how we go. Uh, now, we need to make sure we can get all platforms under this line. So we'll bring that line out like that. And then we'll bring this line... Let's just go ahead and upset Wolf's butt even more than we already have. Uh, we'll bring this line out like this. And of course, that can cross over there. And then we'll just have a set of points in there so it can get come in and go down to these platforms. Or actually, it's, it'd be the outbound trains going that way. Yeah, the inbound trains would be able to cross over and get to any platform there. And then, ooh, new iron ore mine at Seinfeld. That is very convenient for us, actually, because we can use the existing line down here and then just sort of jump over to the uh, to the iron ore line. Okay, hello. I am interested in this turn of events. Uh, now, why don't we just have a little cheeky little bit of track down here around the outside. Yeah, I know it's cheeky, but we, we can we can do it. We can get away with this. Run this down here and then just sort of just sort of join up at the junction, just in like a big dog pile of train tracks. Uh, because that's how train tracks work. So that can be for the loaded train coming in this way. 
And now the empty train, we can either try and swing it around through the station or yeah, it does want to come in on this track here. We could have it come around the back here and drop underneath. Yeah, I think that's what, what we'll do. So we'll bring him around. Uh, we'll split him off, say, here and uh, come around in a bit of a curve here. Sorry about all the fields, by the way, guys. It's uh, it's not going well for you there, Essence Farm. We're, uh, we're, we're sort of turning your f pristine farming fields into a yeah mess of junction. That was more lowering of land than I actually planned for. I was uh, yeah, meant, to, meant to cost that and see how much it cost, but whoops-a-daisy. Oh, well, so put in a bit of a flying junction there, bring this track back up and, uh, and connect up down here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, and just double track the section in here because well we may as well we're we're running enough trains now, and uh, we're planning on running many more. So yeah, that's good. So the loaded train can come in here, come across here, come down this way, and the empty train can come back around and go through this this fancy flying junction action here, uh, and we'll go ahead and signal that up appropriately. And that way our iron ore train's not conflicting with the passenger trains as much as they possibly could. Ooh, bad Sasha gets a new uh, new oil refinery. I don't know what's so bad about Sasha, but uh, she sounds like the kind of girl I get along with. She's also living in the middle of nowhere, living in sin with Bremer Vodev. Vodev but okay, well, bad Sasha, you're, you're on the bad back burner. And now we're going to get back to where we were. Where were we? We were building something. Was it... Was it, it was over here. It was it Essence. Essence. I remember now. It's fine. I uh, don't have a three-second memory. What are we building? Iron ore train. Iron ore train. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, good grains. Some random farm's gone down. whoop de doo uh, 187 ton of iron ore. I like you. You and I are going to get along. Do we want to double track this while we're at it? Of course we put the passing loops on the wrong side of the track, didn't we? <sighs> Bloody amateur hour, I tell you. Uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, shoehorn another tunnel in there. So that sort of makes our decision for us. And then bring this up here and make it look like we planned that all along. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good iron ore at the existing mine's gone down. What, are you pinching it from these guys or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. French and French and French and French and French. Uh, Good. Okay, so uh, don't get rid of that track yet. You haven't connected everything up properly. You get. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll... Having three tracks does seem a bit overkilly, doesn't it? Yeah. You know what? Let's leave it. Oh, there's the German crocodile thing I was talking about, the 194. Uh, not interested in that at the moment, thanks. We're not building electric trains at the moment. Uh, what we'll do is we'll run it in and we'll use it as sort of, I guess, uh, like a, a yard, staging yard area. So if we've got multiple iron ore trains trying to get in here, they don't block the steel train. Let's say that's what we intended to do all along. And not that I just couldn't line up my tracks to save my life. No, don't convert. Build a new signal, please. There you go. Wasn't that difficult. Uh, and go ahead and put some down that side too, please. And uh, get rid of that. And may as well get rid of this fella. Because he's useless. Not useless, but he's, he's just not serving much of a purpose. Yeah, I know there's no signals there. How about that? Uh, good. Yes. Now, signals. Uh, we need to put... Just, just a couple in here, just in case we do decide to have multiple trains go through this way. I mean, I don't know, we might want to run some goods down to Shortens or Seinfeld or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and put in an iron ore station here, please. Uh, do we, can we have seven? Do we have room for seven? We, we only build that as five. But we have room to make it seven, so we'll go seven. We want, want a nice big iron ore train. And uh, and you'll, you'll see why in a minute. Uh, do we row row this one? Yeah, it looks suitable for Roro. We've got we've got the room, uh, so let's just think about this. The inbound train will come in this way and come around this way. Yes, okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, no, we want it we want it the other way around because that way they're not crossing over unnecessarily. Yeah, that's better. So we'll make that the outbound track there, and then we'll have this come up like this, this come up like this. and then we'll just have a bit of room just in case again, we want to run two trains that they're not sort of backing up getting in each other's way, etc. Good. Uh, we may as well just double track this section here too. We I don't know why we didn't do that to begin with. I think I probably discussed that saying, I don't know, I'm not double tracking this now. It's going to be so easy. Oh my God, look how much time I just saved by not double tracking that initially. That was wonderful. Was it good for you too? It was, it was really, really fun. Uh, now let's just go ahead and run these signals down here, run these signals down here. 
And of course we need to put a set of points in here to cross them over. That makes sense, yes, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, go ahead and put a one wire down there and that can protect this junction as well. And then a one wire there going the other way uh, and switch you over for just a normal signal. Uh, like that, please. Yes, now the reason I, uh, I want to build a nice little row row station there is because we're going to go ahead and crack out the big fella, the BR45. Probably overkill, but you know, I want to have a nice big heavy iron ore train from that mine. Um, how, how long do we build it? Seven. How much capacity is that? 336 tons. Yes, please. That's going to get the job done. So if you could go up and load at Seinfeld. Uh, and then you can come down. Do you pass through this depot? You kind of do. Have a cheeky service there if you want. Uh, then you can come up here and unload and then have another cheeky service on the way back because your max reliability is... Oh, 85. I thought it was 58. I thought it was absolutely rubbish. Uh, where, where is he? Let's have a look. 87%. Okay, they've obviously improved the design somewhat. Good, good work, team. Uh, but yeah, so I really wanted to crack out the BR45, really show off as many different locos as I can in this set. Uh, so far we've missed quite a few, but uh, yeah, who knows what the future will hold. Probably not those locos we've missed, just FYI. But you know, now we need to expand this little unloading station here to uh, to be seven tiles long. So I'll just whack another little unloader there as well. That's fine. Uh, good, okay, so uh, yeah, we'll see how that pans out. And in fact, watching this fella transit the junction here, it, it does occur to me we could probably do a little bit of double tracking here as well, because anything coming down this track here, apart from the steel train, is going to want to come over here, either to this mine or to the underpass there. So why don't we go ahead and just rebuild that like that, and uh, and quickly get rid of that bit of track there, just to save our trains crossing over, and also keep them out of the way of each other, because obviously if this train's coming into to load, and the BR45 is trying to go this way to unload, they're going to conflict with each other completely unnecessarily. So, uh, yeah. How are you doing, by the way? 74 tons. Oh, yeah, you really have dropped off in production, haven't you? You're still making money? 100 grand. Not, uh, not going to sniff at that. You're doing all right. Uh, and the big fella's coming up here to load. And that's dropped back to 72 tons. Of course it has. Why wouldn't it? Because it's a jerk. I uh, wonder if that'll let us uh, increase steel uh, transport out here. Probably in the long run it will. Uh, speaking of steel production, how are you doing, fella? You're making money. Okay, we have we have a fair bit of steel waiting here. We might. Uh, it does seem as if our diesel is uh, reasonably successful. Yeah, he's making some good money. I'm um, okay with this. Might be time to retire this old girl and uh, and get something a bit more modern going. In fact, since the diesel's been performing so well, why don't we give him a crack and uh, see how he goes? So we'll go with some stake wagons. We'll go with a um, five tile train. How long do we build this platform? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, 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 and five up there. Fantastic. Uh, if you could copy his orders but not share, please, I would be much obliged. And you, sir, oh, unfortunately, good old train three. What's the end of the line for you, mate? You're, uh, you, you've been a good performer since day one. You know, you, you, you came out strong with your, with your steel transport and your money making and your blah de blah de blah. And you've seen your fellow BR-92s fall by the wayside, you know, replaced and and superseded with more modern motive power like the 38 and the 75. But you you hung in there. You, you, you stuck with it for now. Uh, I think it's time to say goodbye. So, you know, thanks for your, your... How old are you now? Like 28 years? 19 years. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's not great. But thank you for your 20 years of service. And uh, we look forward to making your acquaintance in another game in the future. And you even gave a six grand back in scrap. Thanks, buddy. You've done well for yourself there. Good for you. Uh, and so the diesel will now come in here and take over the, uh, the steel transport. So that's nice. Now I've got a couple of diesels going. So now this bloke here is feeling a bit worried. Well, there's a couple of diesels arriving on the scene here. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, you should know how you feel about that. You should be scared because if the diesels are better than you, we're bringing them in, and to hell with the consequences. In fact, if you keep breaking down, we're going to dieselize you as well. Diesel's for everyone. I've changed my mind. The diesel is awesome. This farm, less so. Yeah, no, the farm's rubbish. Okay, well, we won't dieselize that train because screw that farm. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. Well, let's just check in with our buses up here. How are you doing? Six passengers out of 18. And empty. Okay, so we've got plenty of capacity there on the old, uh, on the old bus route. 
Uh, but no, I think that's going to wrap things up for today because anything I undertake after this, I mean, I was going to try and build this line up through Malchow and up to Flensburg, but I get the feeling that's going to drag on a bit too long. So we might save that for next time. Just going to just gonna zoom right in there for when I save the game so I don't forget. Uh, so when I load up the next game, I'm not like, oh, we're going to go over here and do all these things and not look at this part of the line at all, blah, 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 blah. But, oh, the Stanley Master Box truck. No, thank you. Don't know why I'd need that. Actually, I do know because we're delivering goods down in Essen. And coal production, it shortens. It's all over the shop. Oh, of course, it drops down at um, that new iron ore mine. Why wouldn't it? That's just the way things seem to go. Uh, but, yeah, so next time we will uh, we'll hopefully finish connecting up this northern part of the map. Oh, I've still got Buxt. Buxt oh, that's a city as well. Hmm, interesting. We might actually prioritise a line through Malchow to Buxterhood and then just have a nice little connecting line. Yeah, okay, that's a thought. Yes, we've got options, folks. We've uh, we've still got plenty more uh, open TTD, TTT, DT, to DT to come. Seriously, why do you keep insisting on loading the logs like that? They're just going to roll off the back of a truck. But yes, as I was saying, plenty of open TTD, TTT, DT, DTT to come. I just sort of get stuck in a loop. There's too many too many letters in that. Uh, but yeah, we've got plenty more to see of the DBXL as we move into the era of electrification and dieselification. Does dieselification? I don't know. Steam's dead. Diesel forever. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the episode and hopefully you'll tune in next week for the next part, which is like part I don't know, seven or eight or thirty-six or something. I don't know. Uh, but until then, I've been T Nick. This has been Open TTD with the DBXL set. Thanks for your company, and I'll see you all next time. Later days. Good of you to finally join us. How are you doing anyway? You're actually doing really well for yourself. Okay, well, you're a good trainer. I like you, and you can stay along with the diesels. <laughs>